You are my friend. I don't hear you. I'm not the one. Early stay uncovered. The deceased was a student teacher who had vanished from a high school Yagami was investigating. Yet the linchpin to this case, a police officer named Ohara, was arrested for a different crime, a train groping that shocked the nation. Upon hearing the verdict, Ohara gave the court an ominous revelation that the son he had lost was avenged. Before I go all in, can we go over the defendant's profile? That way I'll have something to work with. Sure. Akihiro Ohara, age 53, senior officer with Tokyo PD, convicted of sexual battery. He'd been stationed in Shinjuku and lived alone in Tokyo. That is, until his arrest. Lived alone? Unmarried then? His wife moved to Yokohama without him seven years ago, when their son Toshiro started at Seiryo High. Toshiro Kun ended up taking his life in his third year. That's four years ago if you're counting. And the couple never reconciled, huh? Apparently his wife wanted nothing to do with him from that point on. That's it for personal details. All right. As for the charge, Ehar has maintained his innocence. We've had no luck getting him to budge. Mind you, the prosecution has plenty against him. Security camera surveillance, eyewitness footage, even trace evidence gathered on scene. The same footage the media was plastering on TV? Yes, although some of it was edited for privacy or length, but it painted a clear enough picture. Hard to dispute something you can see right in front of you. True. And what about when they handed down the verdict? The horror flew off the handle or something? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Your Honor, in a warehouse, about three days ago, a body turned up in Yokohama. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. Ehara seemed convinced that Mikoshiba had bullied his son, and to get his justice, he even took Seiryu High to court. However, the court ruled against him, claiming there was no substantial evidence of bullying. I still need to dig into the court record of that case to see if there's anything of value. Sounds like I'm on deck then. I've got someone involved in the case right in front of me. Who? The chairman of Seiryu High himself. Are you? Talking about me? I don't know how you pull these things off, Yagami-san. But let me give you a word of caution. I'm listening. Mikoshiba's murder hasn't been made public yet, so please don't go around talking about it. Especially at his school. The Kanagawa police will investigate the school soon enough. And if they find out everyone already knows... <sighs> They'd show us the door, lock it behind them, and probably charge us with obstruction. Exactly. Oh, and before I send you Mikoshiba's photo, there's one last thing you should know. What's that? Ehara's ruling was the day before yesterday. That means we only have 13 more days to potentially file an appeal. If we don't make our move, Ehara will walk out of court with a sex offense charge and a minor slap on the wrist. And once his case is closed, it would take a miracle to get it reopened, even if there had been a critical oversight. Right. I'm sorry to give you a time limit instead of a viable solution. Don't worry. I'll have to make do. For now, let's just keep in touch. Thanks, and good luck. Yo, what was that about? <laughs> sorry, give me one more sec. Actually, Kaito-san, can I fill you in later? I need to get some answers from the chairman. Hmm? May I help you with something, Yagami-san? You sure can. Only thing is, where to start? Remember how you told me about a student teacher went missing? Oh, uh... This is him, right? Hiro Mikoshiba. How do you have that photo? But yes, that's him. 
I'd like to ask a bit about him in relation to a separate investigation. What? What is it you need to know? Did something happen to him? I'm afraid I can't give you any details. This request comes from a very close colleague. I'm sure you understand. It's a matter of detective client privilege. <sighs> I know that isn't much consolation. But if it's any comfort, I would never disclose anything about your case either. But don't you see? Mikoshibukun was officially reported missing. Please, can you tell me something? I promise. I'll tell you everything I can when I can. But for now, let me ask the questions. <sighs> Very well. Go ahead. I'll start with the basics. Miko Shiba-kun was a graduate here, correct? And that's why he came back to train as a teacher? That's correct. How long was he supposed to be here? Three weeks, originally. He'd nearly finished his time with us. But one day he simply stopped coming. It was as if all was well, then suddenly he was gone. Or at least that's how I'd heard it. Were you two not that close? No. We would had barely exchanged a word since he arrived. Wasn't there a pretty dark rumor about Miko Shiba-kun four years back? Something about how he drove a student to suicide? You mean what was dredged up online? Yes, I'm aware of it. However, in the subsequent lawsuit, that rumor was put to rest. The court found no evidence of bullying. But you had your doubts, didn't you? So you called on us to take a deeper look. Well, uh, yes. But let's not get confused. The tragedy from four years ago does weigh on us. But we've washed our hands of the matter. Well, you say that, yet I can't help circling back to the same question. Why would the head of a school hire detectives to monitor his students in secret? Potentially even out of pocket? Well... For one thing, it would reflect poorly on our institution were I to openly suspect our students. Then there's the issue of bullying being recorded and shared online. You know what kind of firestorm that can cause. I should mention, I'm the one who takes the fall for it. My own privacy be damned. So of course I would opt for secrecy. That's fair. But what that still doesn't answer is why this is happening now. I'm not sure I follow. Could this be what riled you up? But... but this is... This is footage of Akihiro Ehara two months ago, captured up in Tokyo. The man was an active duty police officer, so of course it made the rounds in the media. But you already knew all that. After all, he's the one who sued your school on account of what his son endured here. Bullying that led to suicide. Well, that's... Uh... Undeniable. And now that he's in the spotlight, any more problems at Serio would lead people to start connecting the dots. Uh. The police would dig up that suicide in no time, regardless of whatever the court had ruled. They might even reach the conclusion you had covered the whole thing up. I get the feeling that's why we're really here. To prevent another mess on your hands. Oh, I see now. Our job's to sniff out any bullying, then you sweep it under the rug. That's simply not true. At least, that wasn't my intention. You sure about that? The thought never even crossed your mind? <sighs> Perhaps it did. The scenario you described was painfully accurate. Every time I saw Ihara-san on TV, I'd grow sick with worry that it could all boil over on us here at any moment. I can assure you, Chairman, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I only want to learn about Miko Shibaku. In that case, you should speak with Sawa-sensei. She was his teaching mentor. Her? Great. That's my luck. See? I told you we should have stayed on her good side. How was I supposed to know? Um, so would you like me to call her back here? No, thanks. I should go see her myself. Do a bit of smoothing over. In that case, you may want to go downstairs and see if she's in the faculty room. She should still be on lunch. Perfect. I've got another chance to shoot my shot. Sorry, Kaito-san, but I'm fielding this one alone. Tsukumo, you guys can clear out too. What? You're benching all of us? Just like that? I don't understand the meaning of this, Yagamishi. 
If I had time to explain, I would. Just trust me on this for now. I'm sorry, did you need something, sir? Oh, uh, is Sawa-sensei here? She should be back shortly. May I ask who's waiting for her? Well, no one's special, really. I just need to have a quick word with her is all. Maybe you could tell me where her desk is? It's right over there. The one with all the English books. Thank you. What are you doing here? I thought you'd have gone by now. Yes, well, I need to ask you a couple things. Such as? Such as how close you were to Hiro Mikashiba. What? I heard from Chairman Okuda you were mentoring him as a teacher. I believe this was two months ago? Why do you of all people want to know? Did you notice anything unusual before he disappeared? Any sign of trouble he might have had? I can't say for sure. He just stopped showing up one day. Really, that's all I know. Uh, is that really all you can tell me? Nothing jogging the memory? I, I said that's all. You know what, let's start over. Why don't we talk about him as a student? You were already a teacher here by then, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Back when a student here committed suicide, there were rumors online about how it could have been caused by bullying. And Miko Shiba-kun's name came up as one of the potential bullies. Yes, but those were just rumors. So he wasn't involved in any teasing? I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So as far as I knew, Miko Shiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. He's not the type to bully then? I would say no. Then why would those rumors exist in the first place? You're asking the wrong person. Four years ago, the court determined this school was not responsible for a bullying-related suicide. You mean Ahara-san's lawsuit? The father of the student who died and an officer in Tokyo? He was arrested the other day. Well, I'm sure you've seen the news. Yes, but what of it? What exactly is the point you're trying to make here? I believe Ahara-san still thinks his son killed himself because of Mikoshiba-kun. Let me ask you something, Yagami-san. By all means. What are you trying to accomplish? Didn't you finish this whole business with the chairman? If that wasn't enough, you got security called on you. You clearly have zero regard for anyone here. You should have had the sense to leave long before now. Believe me, once I learn what I need about Miko Shibakun, I'm gone. In that case, you've already got everything you need from me. Uh, one last question. You and the chairman both mentioned how Miko Shibakun got along with the students here. Anyone in particular that he was close to? The kids in the basketball club? Miko Shibakun was in that club back when he was a student. 
Apparently, he was showing up to their practices. The basketball club. That includes the gang from before, right? Yes. They all spent quite a bit of time with him. All right. With that, I'll get out of your hair. Appreciate your time, Matt. Uh, Sawa sensei uh, Just a minute! Close one. Almost got it. Huh? You're Kodasan from Class 2 too, right? Basketball too? Yeah. You have a second? I um, have some questions about a student teacher who taught classes here in Mikoshiba. Huh? Oh! Oh, really? Yo, you read me talk? That posse of little shitheads just went strutting into the gym with some bats. Kaito-san. Can you at least try to warn me a little sooner next time? Why? You worried? Hey! Why are you still here, asshole? Who the hell are you, anyway? Talking pretty big for taking a cheap shot while my back was turned. You had it coming, shady old fuck! Coda! Hey, you been spilling anything to this guy? I didn't say anything. I'll fill you in. I was asking her about Miko Shiba, the student teacher who disappeared from school not too long ago. You guys know him, right? The basketball club would. Don't bother trying to talk to us like we're your fucking friends, asshole. I want to bash your fucking skull in. You'll die before I tell you shit. You wiped the floor with us yesterday. Only fair for you to take a handicap. I don't mind at all. Sure. All good. But it's still gonna be pretty one-sided. You're so full of shit. I'm gonna kick your ass! Got a lot of guts for your age, kid. But come on. You really need a better outlet for all that aggression. Let me go! Just what on earth is going on in here? Hey. Let's roll out. I'm gonna do you a favor here and leave out the part about the bats. Huh? Are you even listening? Yes, ma'am. We were just horsing around a bit, right? <laughs> just horsing around is right. Funky like a monkey. Yes, fuck it. I say I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. <laughs>